I am someone that loves being home. I like being around my family. I like having access to my own things. And most of all, I like being in my own thoughts. The weekend for me is really a time to recharge from the chaos that is the work week. I usually come out to the garage for at least two hours, even though my workouts should really only take a fraction of the time. This is my time to be selfish. It's a time that I set aside to do something that I love, but also to decompress and reflect on everything else going on in life. It really is more of a therapy session than anything else. My suggestion to you all is to take the time that you need to be at your best, whether that be an hour at the gym, 30 minutes reading, or a two-day meditation retreat. While it might seem selfish on the surface, in order to take care of the people that you love, you have to learn to take care of yourself. into what I call the cuts closet. So essentially you see a lot of cut shirts in different colors and really all that I have to decide every day is what color cuts do I want to wear. And it's not always as easy as it looks. I get a ton of questions on Instagram from you guys as to which cuts I like and honestly, I love them all, but I would say the elongated is my favorite just because it's a little bit longer and I just love the way that it fits. It's still tight around the arms, so I might rock that one. Actually, this to me is like a perfect fall shirt, this green Henley elongated. I absolutely love the way that this one fits, so that's probably gonna be what I wear today. Uh, but even just like the staples, so the black curve hem, uh, you'll see a lot of the curve hems in my closet as well. Well, whether it be a Henley type of shirt or maybe just like a basic tee, they really have everything. And just wait for the upcoming months for what you guys are about to see coming from Cuts. Alfie, you cannot wear this. Buddy, you cannot wear that. That doesn't fit you. You need a small. So as you can tell, the reason that I love these shirts is that they're tight in all the right areas, on the arms, I mean, for a lot of us that work out, why would we go to the gym all day if we can't show it off, you know what I mean? But then they're long enough so they're not riding up, but they're just the perfect fitting shirts. They look great, the colors are phenomenal. Everyone that I know that have bought them absolutely love them. So you guys can definitely check out Cuts down below. Use the link, you can actually save 15% using code Travis, but if you just hit that link, it'll take you right there especially as the fall collection is going to continue to expand and just wait until you see the hoodies. Insane. Hey Alfie, I do have a question for you. Do you want to go to a car ride? Car ride? Yeah. We're going to go on a car ride. Let's go, buddy. smart that he knows when we pull in the parking lot for ice cream and he's about to start going crazy. <laughs> yes, it's cold cream, okay? Alfie gets ice cream, we get sweet berry, everybody is happy. These are really the moments that I live for. Laying around on a Saturday night with the family, Megan reads, I tell Alfie how good of a boy he is, and we simply just enjoy each other's company. I've learned that if you can genuinely appreciate the small things in life, it's so much easier to find happiness and fulfillment. And after all, isn't that what life's all about? the exact same. He loves walks, but it's like a standoff to get him on the leash. It makes no sense. There's breakfast. Right. Alfie loves breakfast. I love these cuts hoodies. It's a win-win. So let me know what's more aesthetic in the comments down below. The color of this Cuts hoodie or this bacon bagel sandwich. We have been loving these. And all it is is cheese, Vita Farms, eggs, bacon, and a plain bagel. But they are so good. So one of the things that's always really challenging for me to do are these voiceovers in the video. So if you like them, please let me know in the comments down below. I try to write a little script and then taking the mental energy to actually sit down and record them is probably the most challenging part. have a 
longer sessions on the weekends, but I'm gonna cut this one off at about an hour and a half because I wanna see if Megan wants to go on a day date to this garden store she keeps talking about for some reason. Oh, what's up? You wanna sniff? What does it sniff like? Picked up a new holster for the Ruger 380 LCP2 for anyone that's interested in that kind of thing. 20 bucks, not too bad. I call this the dog walker. Got this off Amazon. And what's nice about it is you can't even tell it's very discreet even if you carry appendix. Pretty cool. If you guys are into lifting and you work out and you do squats, you have bigger thighs in general, highly recommend Bonobos pants. These are the athletic fit, really like them a lot. Of course, you pair it with a cut shirt, you're looking good. And we even finally have a full length mirror so we can get these nice selfie shots for the gram. Camera wife actually elected to take a rain check on visiting the plant store, which I'm super bummed about, of course. It just worked out kind of nice because I got a lot of office work to catch up on. So we'll get something locally here. And the best part is we get to take a little Alfie with us now, which it's always hard to leave him. Little buddy, so many car rides in today's video. Took the long way around, look at all we found, and we live it up, live it up now. What's up, bud? I got you some snacks. <laughs> I am so excited. It is finally here. This actually released last Wednesday. If you're watching this on Sunday, it might already be sold out, but definitely check. This is their new pumpkin pie flavor. I've never had it. This is the first time they've ever released it. So I figured it was only right to give you all a taste test. Wow, it literally smells like fall. So I'm not the biggest pumpkin fan in the world. So to try this out for the first time, what I'm gonna do is make a pumpkin pie smoothie with some Greek yogurt, the pumpkin pie protein powder, and almond milk, a little bit of ice. I'm just gonna mix all this together. I'm gonna try a little bit of trial and error here and we'll see what we can come up with. I impressed myself with the aesthetics of this. Let me see if I can get a little bit of better lighting for you guys so I can see, or you can see, the whipped cream on top with a little bit of more cinnamon. Wow, that is, the only word I can think of, it's delightful. Like it tastes so refreshing. And what I like about this is the pumpkin is not overpowering. For me, like I don't wanna go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin spice latte because it's just too strong. But I use one scoop. And this is perfection. I should probably use a little bit less yogurt. It has a little tang to it, but oh my gosh. Camera wife, you gotta try this. It's cute. Mm hmm Yeah, you're right. If you changed the yogurt, it would be perfect. It's funny because I had every intention of getting food while we were out and then I saw that come in the mail and I was like, you know what, I'd rather just try that out and I'm so glad that I did. That was extremely filling. I cannot wait for y'all to try that out. And I don't know about you guys, but I much prefer to just eat at home anyway. I feel like it's just more comfortable. Uh, I like to be able to see like what's going into my food, probably just the control freak in me. But I'm gonna try to make one more recipe with that protein powder to get ready for the launch. And Megan is gonna help me make a reel. I've never made a reel in my life. I need to get popular on Instagram, man. It's gotta be uh, the next life goal. <laughs> first reel and if there wasn't a reel there it's because camera wife let us down 
but we'll forgive her. So if you've been watching the channel, you would know usually around four o'clock on Sunday is when I will start to actually start my week. So start to get into some emails, make sure that I'm not starting the week behind. But because I kind of recharge all weekend, it doesn't seem like that much of a sacrifice. It actually lessens a lot of anxiety moving into Monday, having a lot of things already completed and making sure that I'm just prepared for the day. So it puts myself in a pretty good spot. And I think we all go through certain phases where you usually have like FOMO in your younger years. Like you're scared to not go out and do something. But what I found is if I was out on the weekend doing something, it was more because I felt socially pressured to do so and I would rather have just been at home. Now sometimes, you know, we like to go out and we like to do things, but for the most part, I would say I would much rather just kind of relax at home um, with the people that I care about. And if that's you watching this video right now, don't feel pressure to conform to anyone's belief about you know what you should be doing. Ultimately, you know you should be doing whatever brings you the most amount of happiness and fulfillment, and what makes you feel right. And it's going to be different for everyone, right? So I'm sure that there's some people watching this video right now that can relate. Others that are like, "You're absolutely crazy. I need to go out and rage all weekend." Hey, more power to you. Now that we had these wonderful protein bars, definitely make sure to check out the pumpkin protein bar recipe. I believe it should be on my Instagram as well as my YouTube as of now. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Sunday night meals. It's super quick, easy, and cheap. Doesn't get any better. First thing you're gonna need is a wheat and terrier to come sniff everything, make sure that it's all right. Then you're gonna need uh, some King's Hawaiian rolls. We're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna put them up on this tray. But being that Megan is from the South, we're gonna need as much butter as humanly possible before we do anything. Fellas, if your wife has one of these knives, be careful, just be careful. Like you really need this to cut bread? Really? Sure. Mm-hmm, I'm sure it is. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna load the Hawaiian rolls with some boar's head ham as well as some provolone cheese. And last but surely not least, according to Camera Wife, you gotta dump some butter on top of all of them because I guess that's just what you do down here. I'm telling you, these things are ridiculously good. They took, what, 10 minutes in the oven? Super simple, definitely try it out. All right guys, I feel like this has been a long video, at least for me, because it's been over the span of two days, but I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it was probably a little underwhelming, but this is a pretty good representation of what a typical weekend for me looks like in order to get ready for the work week. So let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if it was anything like your routine, or maybe you guys are a lot more fun and exciting than I am. And out doing whatever you young kids do these days. But thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.